Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. There is often a question asked by SLE patients, I'll tell you what SLE is, whether it affects fertility or not. SLE is Systemic Lupus Erythematosus. Now, this can affect infertility in some individuals, but we need to understand what this is. Lupus is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system may mistakenly attack its own tissues, leading to inflammation and damage in the various organs and systems. Lupus can impact fertility through a lot of mechanisms and let's understand them one by one. Hormonal imbalances. Now lupus can disrupt the normal functioning of endocrine system which is responsible for producing hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle and ovulation. This disruption can lead to irregular menstrual cycles or anovulation. Anovulation is lack of ovulation, making it very difficult to get pregnant. There could be ovarian dysfunction as well. In some cases, lupus can affect the ovaries directly. It can lead to ovarian dysfunction. This can result in reduced ovarian reserve. We'll see how the number of viable eggs remaining in the ovaries might come down and decreased fertility potential is observed in such patients. Autoimmune factors are also affected. Since lupus is an autoimmune disease, it can cause the immune system to attack reproductive organs and tissues. We'll see how this immune response may target the ovaries fallopian tubes or the endometrial lining of the uterus interfering with conception and implantation of a fertilized embryo. Then some medications also used to manage lupus symptoms such as corticosteroids and immunosuppressive drugs may have adverse effects on fertility. They can disrupt hormonal balance uh, and interfere with the normal menstrual cycle. There could be pregnancy complications also with women who have lupus and who do conceive but may face higher risk of complications during pregnancy such as miscarriages, preterm birth and preeclampsia. These complications can further impact fertility by reducing the chances of carrying a pregnancy to full term. Now let's see how the antibodies affect fertility in women. There are anti-corpus luteum antibodies formed. Now the corpus luteum develops in an ovary after an egg is released. The place, the follicle that releases the egg transforms itself into something called as corpus luteum. It releases a very important hormone called progesterone. It secretes that and this hormone progesterone causes the uterus to thicken and prepare for implantation of a fertilized egg. In lupus, the immune system may attack and destroy the corpus luteum which means that the uterus does not thicken and the egg may not be able to successfully implant so the pregnancy is lost. There could be anti-oocyte antibodies also. An oocyte is a cell in the ovary and this is what we call as an egg. The immune system of lupus patients may produce antibodies to destroy these eggs as well. It's very important for women with lupus who are trying to conceive to work closely with both their rheumatologist who specialize in autoimmune diseases and a fertility specialist. A multidisciplinary approach is crucial to optimize their health and address any specific concerns related to lupus and fertility. In some cases, appropriate medical management of lupus, lifestyle adjustments and assisted reproductive technologies such as IVF may be helpful in achieving a successful pregnancies for those with infertility issues related to lupus. Each case is unique and the approach will depend on individual health factors and severity of the lupus condition. But if you are suffering from lupus condition and you want to understand your chances of pregnancy, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.